Well, the Middle East has been hit with a rare snowstorm, closing major roads and slowing the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. The snowfall has come as a surprise to many in the region. Some have embraced the conditions not seen in almost a decade, while others struggle to stay out of the cold. Tyson Whelan explains. A welcome distraction after a difficult year. Across the Middle East, a region hit hard by the pandemic, a moment of winter wonder. In Jordan, a country known for its dusty red plains, now dusted in white. It's a great feeling. I can't describe it. We've been waiting for this for a long time. We haven't seen the snow in the last five or six years. It's an indescribable feeling. In Lebanon, buildings withstood the blizzard as snow fell at altitudes below 600 metres. Jerusalem's Dome of the Rock was blanketed as Israel's run of warmer than usual weather dipped into below zero temperatures. We came in from Tel Aviv to play in the snow. You know, it's a rare occasion that we get snow in Jerusalem. Last time, I think, was 2013. The city deployed 250 snow plows out onto the roads, tasked with keeping hospitals accessible. Most schools remain closed, coronavirus lockdowns keeping those families at home. But with the cold snap, concerns grow for the victims of the region's lasting conflicts. In refugee camps in war-torn northern Syria, the melted sleet seeps into tents of the displaced residents, forcing them to brave the conditions without the aid of a heater. You can see with your own eyes, water is dripping everywhere. When it is raining, neither I nor my children can move, even to get something to eat. Ahmed Hamra, who lost both of his legs during shellings of Aleppo, now facing a new, wetter and much colder challenge. As the wild weather across much of the Northern Hemisphere continues to cause havoc, a shivering Middle East awaits a much-needed spring. Tyson Whelan, ABC News.